Hello, you're watching The Garden Corner Show. We are a show where we're crazy passionate about everything gardening that we know of. And by the way, top of the morning to you if you're watching this in the morning. And happy St. Patty's Day. You know, have you ever thought about... I'm, I apologize for that. <laughs> I, I really apologize for that. You ever wonder why, Mr. Dave, do you know why we have St. Patty's Day? I don't. You don't? Let me give you... I looked it up. St. Patrick was a guy that was kidnapped to Ireland. And then he went, then he moved, escaped and moved back to Britain, where he was originally from, or the UK. I don't know what it was called. Back way in the 400s. And then he had a calling to go back to Ireland and save the Irish from something. But anyway, he died on March 17th. It's one of those things where... Uh, where you don't really appreciate it until they're gone type thing. And so celebrate their, his death. Anyway, thank you very much, St. Patty's. And I hope you have a good St. Patrick's Day. And don't forget to wear the green, the wearing of the green. Anyway, um, I forgot where I was. Did I even say I was j Dog John Karshaboom? Mm -hmm. yeah, well, I am. And I'm out here with Mr. Dave and T-Bird. And he's being very, very good. He always is good, Mr. Dave. Good kid. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good. Okay. Anyway, I want I want to say hello to a couple of new fans. <clears throat> to Sarah Strauss. Sarah, hats off to you, by the way. Keep saving those lives. Rebecca Noons Walker. Janice Berg Modral. A citified country girl. What does that mean? Tell me about that. Jacqueline Wright Smith. Chrisitney Wilson, Cherie Vase, and Jessica Hall Mermis. Jessica, I am really excited about your project. Don't forget to take pictures, print them off. We'll give you some great ideas. Today, anyway, welcome, welcome. I hope, uh, I hope you, this, I hope watching this show gives you something. That's the whole point, by the way. Today, uh, we're going to pack it full of hopefully helpful hints. Now, lately we've been talking about these cool plants, and it's one thing to really um, uh, to, to discover and enjoy a neat plant. The other thing is, well, what the heck do you do with it? Today, we are going to do some container plantings. How do you put it all, how do you put it all together to make it look like, well, like a designer would look like? So. So I want to give you some helpful hints. Number one, there's one, two, three, four, five steps or so. Well, number one is the area that you like a container. It really doesn't matter what kind of container you pick out, but pick out the largest container that your area can accommodate. Why, you say? It's because we want soil volume. The more volume a soil it holds, the more water, nutrients it holds. It gives you some... Uh, room for error, lest you forget about that watering. So, go big. Next thing to look at, number step number two is, is this in the sun or is this in the shade? Really, really important. Here's how you can tell. Sun is, if it's getting afternoon sun, it's sun. If it's getting morning sun, it's sun. If it doesn't get either of those two, it's shade. So, step number three, here it is. Use your entire garden center. So whatever your favorite garden center is, is use it front to back, side to side. What you're going to do first is find that focal point. You are on a hunt for something that excites you, that you enjoy looking at. It, and we're going to break all kinds of rules. Remember, you're only going to think about sun or shade. So if it's sun, you're going to look at some sun plants and you're just going to find some Something that that uh, that excites you. Then we're going to build around that particular focal point. So, shall I show you some examples? We'll show you real quick in the in the, in the nursery here. So now we've gone through the garden center. As you can see, I have a tough time making decisions. So. <laughs> What I'm going to do is find something on this wagon. Now, all of this stuff just attracted my eye. I went through the shade section, said, oh, you know what? I like this, I like this, I like that. And I put it all together. Remember, you can always put things back. So let's just get right into the, uh, into the container, shall we? So 
quickly just to prep is now I filled this up completely with soil. I didn't put any filler down below, straight soil. I do always want to put plant tone in the container. So I'm going to do a little scoop of plant tone. Plant tone, our new version is biotone. So I mix that in. That just make sure that we have all 15 essential nutrients, right? Got that? Okay, now let's get to the fun of it. <laughs> so, I'm going to pick a focal point. Of all these plants, I like this one the best. We're going to take this guy right here. I'm going to start there. I'm going to pop this out. I'm going to plant it, shall we? Now, right into there is where it's going to go. Now, notice I didn't put it in the middle. I didn't put it in the... There's a... I put it off to the side because I'm imagining this is going to be against those other pots. That's my focal point. That's where I'm going to start. I'm going to build everything around that. I like this deep dark green, so I'm going to I'm going to contrast it with this Choice Eternata Sundance. This is, by the way, Cephalotaxis. So I'm going to pop it out. I'm going to dig it in. I'm going to set it in there like that. So there we go. Nice contrast. This is get taller, deep dark and we've got some golden, okay? Now, what else can we do besides? Let's see, maybe we can put in something like this. Maybe we can put in something like this. Maybe we can put in something like this. Give me a second here, let me rearrange. And maybe we can put in something like I know, we can go like a this, like a this, and then a like a this. So I think we're going to do something like that. So what I did here, by the way, is we're minimum looking for a one, two, three. I call it one, two, three. I want something, this is a container that I hope looks good year round. So I'm going to pick three things in the container minimum that look good no matter what time of the year. I happen to have actually five things that will look good all year. Overachiever I am. Um, so, minimum three things. One, two, three. The other things we can make as a seasonal plant, they can appear and then disappear without any effect on that. So, we'll always have something that holds the, holds the container. So, I'm going to run with this. Let's plant them all. I'm sneaking in this Daphne Adora because I want just a little bit of fragrance that, that sneaks in in the middle of winter. Not middle. February-ish. Is February, is February technically a middle? You know, I think it's toward the end of it. Is it toward the end of, of, uh, of winter? Like that. And then I'm going to sneak in this hookah right here. And you know what? I might sneak in something like... I shall like this. So let's do that. Now I've got some Cephalotaxis, some Choicea ternata, some Daphne and Dora, some Acorus, and some Heuchera. I still have a pocket for color. Now, here's a choice, by the way, helpful hint. Now you notice I've kind of used this color scheme of goldens and greens and a little bit of orange there. I'm going to put in a little bit of color. By the way, when you do containers, sometimes not everything is available. Here's a, here's a helpful hint, is if you want a color spot, and there, you don't have one that you really like, I'm going to go ahead and put this viola in there. But let's say, well, this is March. I really wanted to wait till end of April, May, and put some summer annuals in. Well, plant a empty container. An empty container or a empty container. So something like that as your placeholder. We're not done yet. Let me show you a couple other things. I also want to do... these things. This is what is called a plant nanny. I like to pop these in for a little bit of fun. And these guys are a little watering device. You can pop that in there. Pick your favorite drink. So whether something like that. And you fill this up with water. Of course, you've drunk the, the good stuff. And put that in there like that. So you have a planted container. Something like that. That looks good year round. And then you will 
only change out the annual. So anyway, does that help? I hope that helps. That's the show for the day. Unless you didn't get anything from it, here is your quote. A best friend, <clears throat> wait a minute. A best friend is like a four leaf clover. Hard to find and lucky to have. That's a great Irish proverb. Anyway, happy St. Patty's Day to you. Always, always live your passion.